I thought I would, instead of talking about painting this time, uh, talk about stories. Just tell you guys some stories while I, um, while you watch me finish this uh, third part of this portrait study. Um, so about two years ago, I, um, it was right the beginning, actually two and a half years ago, it was the beginning of the uh, pandemic. Um, in February, 2020, I had been in um, London teaching for three weeks. I was so tired and I kept getting this huge urge. And uh, even though there were some whispers of the coronavirus, um, no one was really taking it seriously yet. There was only a few people with masks in the airport and we were still going out after class and having drinks and talking and socializing at all the pubs and so, um, but anyway, I was feeling really, really tired and I just had this urge to cancel my entire work schedule for the year of 2020. And I was like, that's a crazy idea, Felicia, you can't do that, all that money. Um, but I just knew I was exhausted and I needed to rest and I'd been traveling and teaching for five years and um, and so I made a decision and when I got home I called and canceled all my workshops and I wasn't gonna do any more traveling I would still do online classes once in a while but I was still gonna take a break from that too for part of the year and I was just gonna rest and have nothing on the horizon. And so I made that announcement and like days later, the whole world canceled 2020. And I thought, thank God for my uh, intuition there because also my personality would have been a little upset had I not had control over that decision. Um, and then it reminded me of 2015, if I think that's when it was, when uh, I was in New Orleans and Katrina hit. And so the day before the hurricane was to hit, I mean, I didn't have TV or a radio. I would just be like reading books <laughs> and painting in my apartment and not knowing what was going on. But I had this um, urge, like this really big urge to get out of New Orleans I, like I like it was I thought it was just because I was sick of it and I literally got down on my knees and prayed and I am not um, I was brought up uh, religious but I'm not religious anymore um, but it felt that important so it probably been 10 years since I'd done that and I kneeled down and I said get me out of here <laughs> And then I got a phone call from my friend, Bunny. I was a cocktail waitress on Bourbon Street with a bunch of really awesome ladies at that time. And uh, Bunny said, what are, you, what are you and your sister and your cat doing for the hurricane? What's your plan? And I said, what hurricane? <laughs> she goes, um, it's gonna be here tomorrow. Do you have a plan? And I said, no, do I need to leave? I'm from California, I'm used to, um, earthquakes <laughs> you don't get warning so you just have to you know have bottles of water and stuff um, and she said that's all right I've got space for you my family and I we all have we're doing like a car train uh, we've rented the closest hotel rooms we could find that's far than not far enough away out of the path of the storm we've got room for you your sister and your cat one backpack a piece that's it and uh, we're leaving in an hour so get ready and my sister and i were like oh my gosh is this real i'm supposed to go to work tomorrow and she's like me too and i think we were just like all right and we put photo albums and some of our mom's jewelry in our backpacks we got our cat in the cat carrier and he was just kind of a kitten at that time oh he was supposed to get fixed the next day too and he never did for months um, yeah, and we went to uh, Houston, and it was no, they had no discounts for evacuees in the hotel, so we only could stay there a couple of nights before all our savings was getting uh, drained away, because we were in our early 20s and poor. And so we, uh, my sister and I and our cat, moved to New York. Um, so anyway, intuition. <laughs> so back to um, 2020, 
I took this break and um, I started getting interested in kind of a lot of magical, esoteric, um, fun things again, which I've always been interested in, but not always given the time to. And I was listening to podcasts that I liked. I always like there's call-in shows where people talk about their um, experiences that are supernatural or interesting or unexplainable. I like the first-hand accounts. So there's, um, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember. Let's see, let's, let's look up my podcast so I can tell you some fun ones. We've got... Um, Jim Harold's Campfire, that one's really good. Um, and then Monsters Among Us, these are really good call in shows. And I also like, um, let's see, Mysterious Universe, those guys are funny. Um, that's more of like a nerdy deep dive into wild ideas. And similarly, um, let's see, there's another one that's a nerdy deep dive just looking through here to find it sorry ah astonishing legends that's really good um anyway so um i was listening to all those and someone interviewed a psychic medium and uh i don't know i just liked the sound of him so i said okay this is my year off of resting and exploring and i'm gonna book a fun session with this medium and um so i did the session and he said all kinds of fantastical things and i've always believed in it i believe in magic so hard that for years when i wasn't seeing evidence of it i think that's why i was so depressed and so when he said these things they resonated as true to me somehow but i thought i can't just depend on this dude from canada to um <laughs> to be my go-between like if I have um, guides or if um, you can have I don't know a more varied perception of life in the universe through meditation I want to figure that out and so I did I started studying how to meditate now I was a person who could never <laughs> So I thought, I've meditated, um, I was really anxious, I could not sit still with myself, I was drinking a lot so that I wouldn't have to be alone with my thoughts and feelings, I was terrified of them. But this um, desire to experience more and to experience magic was strong enough in me to give me the patience to start learning how to meditate and I started having really magical experiences. So um, I would go for a walk, and at that time I had kind of gained a bunch of weight, so the walking was really good. And um, I would just go for the walk, and then when I'd get home, with my body being more relaxed from exercise, I would lay down and use whatever tips I'd kind of Googled up. Or, um, but then I started getting tips in my mind, or in my mind's eye with pictures and words. And, uh, and I also um, heard my dad's voice. Now he has been dead at that point for over 10 years. And I had been um, thinking about this um, stress in my throat and blaming it on my sister. And he said, yeah, your sister's a real pain in the neck. In his exact personality and I could not believe it I mean wow so yeah magic it's true <laughs>